for a way to grow your business. Maybe you are you have a brick and mortar business and you've been wondering how you can grow and get more leads and more customers, more people to see you. What if you have a business online and you're just not sure how you can grow that business? You've been just working really hard for the last couple of years and it feels like things are stagnated. Or maybe you don't have a business yet and you're looking to start a business using something online. Well, I'm gonna show you today how you can use YouTube to grow any of those businesses or even to start a business. I'm gonna give you three tips today and show you how people are actually using YouTube. And again, it doesn't. you don't have to have a business online. You can already have a business and you're just gonna utilize this to help grow your business. All right, let's get started. Now, before we dig in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every Tuesday, every Friday when I put out a new video. And you can learn how to create an income generating business and eventually quit your nine to five. The first thing people ask is how can I possibly even use YouTube for business? Usually when people go on YouTube, they're searching for the answers to questions and their answer, they're searching for um, problems that they have and how can it get fixed? Like how can I lose 10 pounds or how can I um, make hand sanitizer? How can I learn how to crochet? Things like that, but believe it or not, all of those questions can be turned into businesses. You see thousands of people, millions of people using YouTube to you, um, help people lose weight and they may have a gym and they're bringing it to YouTube and helping people there as well. And I'm going to show you some different businesses that you might not even think about how people are using it to increase their business. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. But one of the things that you need to learn is you can sit here and make a YouTube channel. I can sit here and tell you, oh, just go make a YouTube channel. And I, you can go to my channel and find series of videos that teach you how to make a YouTube channel, how to make videos. But just making those videos and just creating the channel isn't going to help you increase your business. You have to get eyes on your business. And that's what it's all about. We call that traffic. You can call it your audience. So first of all, if you've already started a business, you already have a niche you already have a target audience. So if you, what is a niche? Very quickly for those of you that are just beginning, because I did tell you this video could be for you as well, but your niche is what is it that you're trying to promote to people? What is it that, what is your business? So maybe your business could be how to lose weight. Maybe you're in the health care industry. So your niche might be um, how to do yoga after age 50 or something like that, or how to do yoga on the go. We live in a world where everybody wants quick, everything to happen now and everybody's moving and on the go. So maybe your business could be um, targeting those people. That would be your target audience that are on the go a lot. They don't have time to go to the gym. They don't have time to turn the TV on and watch a video. So maybe somehow you could bring that to them, that yoga to them on their iPhone. Every morning for 10 minutes, do these yoga at exercises and maybe stop um, at the local park or something and then go get your cafe latte or whatever you want after you do your yoga so they can do it on the go and you know teach them how to figure out where they have those time slots where they can do some yoga exercises or maybe you really know how to do it on the go and they can do some while they're at work at a desk or um, standing in line somewhere things like that that would be a great niche because people are looking for that they want to be healthy but they always have that excuse that they don't have time so you're solving that problem so we're going to assume you already have your niche you already have your target audience so what we're going to do now is use youtube to get your audience looking at your business all right so let's go over to and do a search if YouTube and Google, they have over a billion searches a day. Google owns YouTube, by the way, so that's why I said them co together concurrently. But people are on YouTube and Google, billions of people every day are searching for things. And there's over 1 billion people on YouTube that watch YouTube for at least an hour when they get on. You know yourself, you get onto YouTube, you start searching for something, and before you know it, you've been on there an hour um, looking at different videos, and then you go off on side segues and looking at other videos. And I'm gonna show you why that is important. But let's go ahead and, and do a search here. How can I make money online? That's one that a lot of people search. And you see there's a lot of, um, 
blogs that came up and then videos down here at the bottom let's scroll that up a little bit i can click some of the videos that came up down here at the bottom or i can go to the top here and just select videos and that's going to bring those videos up and as you can see there's lots of videos that people have made how can you make money online so that could be your niche maybe you want to teach maybe you already have a business maybe you already have a youtube business and you want to teach people how to make money online but what i wanted to show you here was that's what people are looking for the answers to a question let's do something different that one's pretty obvious people will look for that but what about um best real estate investments now you usually think of real estate as business people having businesses offline because they have to show the real estate to customers you can have a real estate business and you can be showing houses and out there selling houses but you can also bring it to youtube so what you're going to do here is you might give people information i actually just um, met somebody that lives in south carolina and he shows his homes on youtube that he is um they're multi-million dollar homes so maybe you and i may not be interested in buying it but wouldn't it be cool to see the inside of these homes so that's what he does on his youtube channel and actually i'm going to show his channel right here so you can check it out and see what he's done to take his real estate business and then get people to look at what he's doing maybe the people online may not be buying from him but he's going to start generating an audience online where he can start offering a course or something like that and we'll go into more detail like that but since we're talking about um, real estate i wanted you to see that the real estate person isn't necessarily going to try to sell their homes on youtube but they're going to talk about what the kinds of homes that they sell maybe what you need to do as a seller or a buyer and different things like that so they're going to think within their niche what are things people what are problems do people have and what might they be looking for here on youtube or in google and how can i monopolize on that and help it to increase my business um, here's another one that you might not think about learn to play the guitar again when i put how to uh, learn to play the guitar maybe i'm interested in that there are people that love to play the guitar they probably give lessons off to the side they may even have a guitar shop or a music shop you know all kinds of things maybe they rent rooms out to other people to come and do lessons so they have this established business possibly they can bring it to youtube and i'm going to show you in more detail how this one guy his name is um andy guitar and we're going to go ahead and pull him up in the videos there he is and i want to show you using him as an example now this is a video he made four years ago and i went to his channel he's still active he's still making um different uh videos on guitars but he has over uh, 1.5 million subscribers so that is awesome the goal on youtube is to get a lot of subscribers and a lot of views and again that's not what this video is about but those are the secret things that you want to do to get more eyes on you you want to get those target targeted audience that traffic on you now okay so i made it video i got a channel how's that going to increase my business well one of the things that what will happen to increase your business after you do a search is you want to do some kind of a call to action and andy on his after he has you watching this one is about absolute beginner start here i have a free 10-day starter course well if you're starting out wouldn't you want something free and that's what he has right here um, his free download is right here you can see it and you can go to that download and he has something there for free now anytime this is the important thing anytime you're trying to grow your business you're trying to grow a list of leads and every business has them I don't care if you're working at a retail store did you ever go to Kohl's and they say can we have your email address you anywhere you go give us your email address they want your email address you think they want it I used to think that because they want to give me coupons well they want my email address because they want to sell me something they want to get me to buy something eventually in the future and yes sending me some coupons is going to get me to go into the store and use those coupons Andy is giving you a free course to get you started and eventually he collects your email when you get the free course he sends it to you in an email you can go through it now you're on his list and now he's going to start sending you a newsletter maybe once a week talking about guitars because you're interested in it and you get to be on his list and eventually he's going to say hey I have a course that that I put together maybe you'd be interested in that and then it goes to sell you the course so any business I don't even care if you go to the dentist 
you get in the door because they might have a free cleaning and eventually they come in they're going to check your teeth and everything maybe you don't have any cavities right maybe you don't need any more dental work that's necessary have you ever had your dentist offer you a to whiten your teeth or to give you some other kind of a service that is part of their funnel if you will part of their um, timeline or their little line of what they have to offer you and everybody does it so here on youtube that's how you do it with that call to action you're having them come in and you give them something for free and we call those opt-ins or lead magnets but if you look at start looking at videos differently now when you go to watch them see what it is that they're offering you for free and that's their lead magnet they're trying to get your email address so that you can get something free all right now something i want to point out before we go on to the next one the next tip on how you can get everybody's eyes on you over here to the right if you've noticed these are keywords that um, andy has used because part of what you want to do and this is a whole nother part of youtube and we're not going to get into it today but you want to get ranked and when you noticed earlier i'm going to go back to that page um let's go into videos i want to show you where andy's ranked i'm going to go into videos you want to get ranked on this first page and that is the challenge that everybody has um, but he is ranked number three right here one two three on the first page so most of us most of us do not go to page two or page three there are hundreds of thousands of videos in here but he got ranked as number three and that's why i clicked him and yes his video is four years old but people are still watching it so that's the key you want to get ranked on that first page and you'll find if you go to andy's page some of his videos might be ranked on the first page and maybe many of them are not so every video you make will not be ranked there but that's always your goal how do you do that well when you put in tags or keywords now these are keywords that andy put in and i want to show you what's kind of cool um, before we move on but something that i use to help me with my ranking and my keywords is i can look at these and say sure these are some keywords that Andy's used, but I can select right here where it says so show search rankings. And it's going to tell me where he ranks with his different keywords. So if a keyword didn't rank at all, like start or starter, I might not want to use those words on my video if I'm doing guitar, but I might want to use beginner guitar tutorial. So that's something that ranks high. Guitar lessons, beginner guitar. Andy himself ranks number four but these are all anything that have the numbers next to them they have been ranking now how did I do that I did it by using a tool called TubeBuddy you can see it right up here my little it's a Chrome extension and when I select that there's all kinds of other features that it has and I'm just going to put this up here for you but it helps me with keyword search SEO search engine optimization um, it helps me with analytics all kinds of different things i can use it for comments i can have comments built in that i automatically reply to people now again these aren't things you're interested in today but the main thing that i love to buddy for it helps me with my keywords and i can see where they rank so that i can try to select keywords that are going to rank you can go down into my description below and there is a link that you can get um, a free you can start with to buddy for free and check it out but it does have a lot of features i um, just go to the link below and you can start using it for free and check it out now i also have made a video that you can see up here in the corner how to grow your channel there are tips that i use uh, that are in this video that are all related to tubebuddy so i'll go ahead and give you that link as well uh, so that you can check that out Now, why is this important in growing your channel and helping your business? Because the whole goal of your business is to get more eyes on you and what you have to offer. The more people that watch your video, the more subscribers that you're going to get. So that's more eyes on your video. Not everybody's going to hit your call to action. Some people are just going to subscribe to your channel and hit that notification button and we'll learn from you that way. So those are, those are also your audience, your targeted audience. So you have your subscribers on YouTube and then you have your call to action so that you can collect a list of, of emails and people that are going to be on that list. So you have targeted, a targeted audience and then you're starting to collect some leads from both youtube 
through your call to action and just by having your subscribers so what is the third way this way i think a lot of times gets unnoticed but let's scroll down here we have and guitar andy andy guitar <laughs> um and let's scroll down anytime you watch a video you have some suggested videos off here to the right notice that i just watched one of andy Qatar's videos but here it's saying oh watch this one well he's suggesting himself youtube did that youtube said hey if you like that video you might like one of these other videos as well watch over here on the right andy has one here's another one two and I found two more down below here if I kept scrolling down here's another one Andy Qatar three and another one here so four times just in those top 15 videos Andy's videos are being suggested from his own video does YouTube suggest other people's videos absolutely they suggest other videos they think that you might like if you like this one but from here I can a lot of people are going to select that first one they'll say you know what here Andy has a guitar lesson lesson number two well if he has lesson number two he probably has lesson number one somewhere so that might entice me oh here it is down here that might entice me to go ahead and start looking at some of his lessons if I'm sincerely interested in learning how to play the guitar so suggested videos are very 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 important at the end of your video you actually have an opportunity to add, to add end cards okay um, when you start uploading them and in those end cards a lot of times people will suggest their own videos so that they people can get them suggested there as well there's lots of different ways that you can be suggested but i want to show you how important the search is and the suggestions and into my own traffic sources i went into my analytics just from the last 28 days and as you can see 57.8 percent almost 58 percent of my videos are YouTube searches and I'm not surprised by that only because I do a lot of how-to videos I notice I start a lot of my videos with how to do this how to do that because for me that's usually what people are looking for how to do something and that's what I just ended up making a lot of my videos on um, but the second one which is kind of exciting 24 percent are suggested videos I'll be honest with you I didn't realize until maybe in the last couple months how important that suggested video was there are some people that most of their traffic comes from the suggested videos but overall you want most of your traffic from YouTube to come from these two places sometimes it comes from Instagram sometimes it'll come in from Facebook but as you can see I have 70 percent of my traffic comes from people searching and from su suggested videos so that I'm pretty pretty excited about that um but that you want to go into your analytics to find that and you're going to go under reach r-e-a-c-h and that's where you find this information tell me down in the comments below if you already have a business if you're brick and mortar or if you are building a business online or if you're brand new just let me know one of those three things and if you have any questions let me know a lot of times that's how I make my videos is by the questions that I get in the comment section because I want these videos to help you build your business that's my mission in this whole entire channel is to help other people be able to quit their nine to five and start generating an income to create an income generating business whether it's a combination or whether it's fully on YouTube all right that all right that's all I have today those are my three tips and how you can use YouTube to grow your business it's in the search engine it's in the suggested videos and it's in the call to action those are three main areas you really want to focus on and I promise you if you take the time to master those three things you will start generating a larger list of leads to help you grow your business 